Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Libras. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Libra. I hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables as always, and taking care of their beautiful temple of yours, Libra. Yes, come on in. And we're going to talk about this thing called love today, Libra. We're going to give a shout out here to my beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. Thank you. Shout out to the soul tribe. And welcome back to my beautiful returning subscribers. Thank you all so much for your comments, your feedback down below. I see you, I hear you, and I appreciate you, Libras. Yes, always, all right? Always and forever, all right? Always, Libra. I love you. Thank you so much, all right? And welcome to the ones that are new here. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Definitely, if today fulfills your spirit as well with today's reading don't forget to subscribe we would love to have you here libra as well a part of the soul family and be sure to adjust your notification bells for when i do go live on this platform throughout the week and i also go live for questions as well if you have a question that you would love to ask for tarot all right so no further ado libras today we're going to focus on love and romance all right we're going to use the Love Romance Angel deck, and then we're going to clarify with some tarot, and then we'll close out and get you some word advice here from the universe, all right? So no further ado, Libra. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see what's coming towards you for Love and Romance. What's the collective energy here today for Libra placements? The readings here are general, all right? So definitely take your what resonates for you, Libra, and leave here on the table what does not, all right? However, if you would love to book a personal reading, I am available today for personal readings, all right? My email details are down below in the description box. Wow, we have keep an open mind, Libra. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, all right? So your spirit team here wants you to keep an open mind because whomever this person here is that you're about to fall madly in love with, okay? This is someone that you would have never expected in a million years to be in this position or space and opportunity with this person, okay? So some of you all, you may have already met this person, all right? As you can notice, he's coming over to her place for the first time. He's meeting her family, things of that sort. So this may be happening as well. Some of y'all, you may just meet this person for the first time here. You may have just went on a couple of dates with this person. It still could be fresh. It still could be new with you and this person here. And you're getting to know each other here, okay? Let's see what else about this person here, Libra. Wow, I love it, I love it. So it seems like some of y'all here are not gonna be single for long. Okay, so definitely keep an open mind because you may feel like this person is way at your lead or it's just not your typical person that you would turn to and date, all right? It's why your spirit guides here want you to keep an open mind. But I feel like once this person opened their mouth, once they start saying things that resonates with you, I feel like some of you on your mind is going to completely change, okay? <laughs> all right, yeah, look at that. We have, it is safe for you to love, all right, open your heart, Libra, to give the highest and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, so this is like confirmation for your spirit team saying, you are good to go now, Libra. Whatever you may have healed from for whomever is resonating that I'm talking to, you are now ready to get back out there and get your feet wet, okay? You're ready to go out and explore, adventure, and see what's out there for you. It is safe for you to open up your heart to your Libra and love again here, okay? Wow, I love it. Let's get one more card here, and then we'll clarify the cards here, okay? Wow, we have let your friends help you, Libra. Ask for and accept support from others. So you even have friends, family that is coming in here to help you, especially if you are, you know, dating, going out for a first time in a long time here, and you may need someone to look after your children here, okay? You have help, you have family that is willingly to help you, to give you the opportunity here, or whatever that may be for you, okay? Wow, so let's see here. Let's see However, what is coming towards you here? Let's clarify with some tarot here 
for each card. Let's start with it is safe for you to love again. Let's clarify this card here. Wow, I'm loving the messages that are coming out for you so far, Libra. I love it. Definitely, if it's resonating for you, again, hit that like button. All right, that helps the channel to grow. It helps us to evolve as a community here. All right, and it definitely helps to get the message out for whomever needs it in the algorithm. All right, so definitely hit that like button. That would be very much appreciated, Libras. Let's see here. Clarify, it is safe to love again. Wow, we have the Hermit cards here. This is Virgo energy here as well. Some of y'all, Libra, this person may be a Virgo. This card is indicating the reason why Spirit is saying that it's safe for you to love again. It's safe for you to open up your heart here, Libra, because you went through a time of healing right you went through a time of reflecting on yourself and not so much blaming others for your choices that you made and because of that you're able to see more clear now you're able to now get a different perspective even when it comes to dating i feel like the same type or style or feelings or thoughts that you had for your previous partners that feeling those type of energies that no longer resonates for you so this is why spirit is saying keep an open mind because you have evolved because your perspective for people that you date is totally different now so of course the type of energy that you come across is going to be more fit for you i feel it's going to be more on your level on your frequency your vibration because you're not vibrating on the level that you did once before in the past okay you now see different because of your reflection and you isolating yourself and kind of focusing more inward on you and what it is that Libra wants what's going to make Libra happy I feel like because you went through that process that stage now you know the type of person that you are wanting to date okay and also coming from your past experiences and relationships in your past you now know what type of person you want to date you now know your worth honey right let's clarify keep an open mind let's get more insight about this person here that's coming across your way here okay clarify keep an open mind for libra placements please why do we have keeping open minds here wow we got the ten of swords yeah because you've already put an end into again these type of behaviors these type of people that you dated so finding yourself no longer being attractive even so to the people that you dated here in the past you know because remembering the times that they portray you remembering the times that they hurt you remember the times that you were put in situations that you wasn't expected of you didn't ask for those typical type of people relationships and connections you just don't no longer resonate with and it was a time to put these to an end i love how it's going in order here we went from the number nine, which talks about wrapping up cycles with the number nine, getting to that breaking point. And then boom, we got the number 10 here. I love the order. I love how everything is going in divine order for you, Libra. Yes. So you're definitely meeting someone new. Um, again, some of y'all, you may have already met this person. Some of you all, you are. Or on your way okay you're not going to be single for long for some of you all let's clarify let your friends help you right clarify let your friends help you for Libra placements clarify let your friends help you body and angels wow we got the king of cups here in reverse I feel like some of you all your family wants to help you. They're willingly to want to come in and help you. But especially if you were in a space where you may feel sometimes that you're emotionally unbalanced, okay? The King of Cups in reverse is sometime in a space where they are feeling emotionally off balance or emotionally cold, um, dealing with uh, self-compassion and inner feelings, moodness kind of energy here. All right, and Spirit wants you to know that you still have family around you that loves you. You still have family around that appreciates you. You still have family around that don't mind helping you in times like this, okay? So I feel like if there was someone around you as well that could have put you in this situation and tried to also emotionally manipulate you, gaslight you type of energy here okay know that you have friends you have family around that's willingly to help you that you can kind of talk to 
and open up and vent about here that, you know, whatever past experiences you experience, because we all sometimes need those conversations, need to be able to speak and get things off our chest, because that's a part of the healing process. And that's a part of helping you to heal and move forward. Okay. Wow, Libra, what a beautiful message coming in for you today here, Libra. Let's close out and get you some word of advice here, okay? But do know that, yes, you are ready, all right? Yes, it is safe for you to love again. And be sure to keep an open mind again, Libra, on the energies that you come across here, okay? Everything is happening in divine order for you, all right? So go with the flow and go with what you feel. What word advice here can Libra take away from this beautiful reading today, Gordon Angels? What word advice here? Thank you, Spirit Guides. Yeah, look at that. We got the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. So Capricorn could be very significant here. Uh, we also got Virgo energy out here. Gemini energy, Aquarius energy, Libra energy like yourself with the Ten of Swords there. And we also have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy with the King of Cups. And we also have here Capricorn, okay? But do know that, again, the experience that you had here with the Ten of Swords, that tough cycle has now approached. So this is confirmation for you all to let you know that this type of cycle, these type of people, this type of environment, this this way of doing things in your past, that is now over. You no longer resonate with that vibration or that frequency anymore. You have evolved. You have become a better version of yourself. So know that the cycles that you have experienced, they have now come to an end, okay? I love it. And let's see what else came out here for you. We have your hard work is paying off. Again, new moon in Capricorn. So Capricorn energy is going to be very significant. Some of y'all may have Capricorn energy in your chart, all right, that you need to rectify and utilize at this time. But whatever you also been working towards your FYI, if this is within your working environment, do know that your hard work is about to be paid off. I know some days it could get frustrating. Some days you may want to throw in the towel, okay? Because your emotions may be off balance, right? You've already had to experience typical relationships and connections with people as far as romantically wise that kind of threw you off balance, right? So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up, especially on your career and when it comes to your love life, okay? It may be one or the other. Sometimes your love life can be going great and you can be having issues within your working environment. Then your working environment can be going great and then you can be having issues within your love life, right? That's how it seems to happen sometimes, okay? But definitely know that your hard work is paying off. So do not get discouraged when you do have those days and those moments because we all have those days and moments where we're like okay i'm not happy with this i'm not satisfied with this right yeah look at that take time to breathe out okay please okay this is a great opportunity this is a great exercise if you want to try taking deep breaths out throughout the day that's going to also help you to release negativity release energies thoughts that you know that don't resonate with you to try to keep things positive taking those breathing exercises is very 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 beneficial Libra, all right? Wow, what a beautiful in detail reading here today, Libras. I love it. I love it. I love it. However, if you would love to see what's next for you in love or what's the outcome for you in this person that Spirit has suggested that you keep an open mind about, if you would love to book a person reading to kind of get more insight, more details for this particular energy, I am available today for personal readings. All right, you're welcome to email me. My email details are down below, Libra, in the description box. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Definitely, if today's content fulfilled your spirit, smash that like button again. Get this message out in the algorithm for whoever needs it. And subscribe, Libra. We would love again to have you here, part of the soul family. And I definitely look forward to your next energy check in. All right. I wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Mwah. Bye bye.